Remember I shared with you one of the, uh, I've bought several properties with no money, like you see on TV. You know, you see on TV, you know, buy property, no money, blah, 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 okay. Well, it just seems like pie in the sky until you actually learn the formula. You're actually going to learn the formula. I'm going to show you the formula, how it works. It doesn't happen often, but, it, but you have to know how to recognize it. But it's definitely out there, that's for sure. Well, this was a house I bought with no money. This was the first house I bought. I didn't pay anything. It cash flowed in 30 days. I had a renter in here in 28 days and cash flow. It was, it was cash flowing in 30 days. I didn't pay anything for it. That home at that time, it's kind of hard to see here. Um, that's a little three, it's a little like a 1300, three, two blue collar neighborhood, good location. There's a little middle school right behind it. Um, just like that, my net worth increased. That was a $110,000 house, I think, at the time, about 110, maybe 150. Just like that, my net worth increased $150,000. I put nothing down. Bought that home, and it was cash flow. I'm going to show you the formula of how that works. It's the same formula, how to buy real estate. It just so happens that there was no equity in this property. Now, if there was some equity in the property, I'd have just bought the equity. But there wasn't any equity. Meaning, this lady was getting divorced. She got divorced. She was living on the other side of town from where she worked. It was, it was too far of a distance to keep going back and forth. So eventually she moved over toward work. She made the mistake of not selling this house before she bought this one. It goes on the market and doesn't sell. What's the number one reason it won't sell? Cosmetics. cosmetics. You walk in there and it was all like 20 years old. It was all cosmetic. Just needed paint, you know, just needed real simple cosmetic stuff. I think I just painted it and put carpet in. I think that's the only thing I did. So distressed homeowner, there was no equity in the property. The money she owed after you deducted the 12%, remember I told you it takes about 12% to sell a property between realtor fees and processing fees and closing fees. When you add up all those fees, most people don't know it, it's 12%. You'll lose 12%. Well, once you subtracted 12%, she didn't have any equity in the property. So she couldn't reduce the price to help sell it. And she didn't have the money to clean it up. She was stuck. That's called opportunity. So I take a look at it, cosmetically damaged. I'm like, that's a big deal, paint, big deal. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll take it off your hands. She goes, you'll do that for me? I said, sure. She handed me keys, signed over the property. Gone. I didn't pay anything. That's called owner financing. I just left the, left the note in place. I took over the property. I didn't rent it. I owned the property. Put renters in there. I turned it. I, I, as soon as I bought it, I just flipped it right to my property manager. We don't manage properties. I just gave the keys to my property manager. In 28 days, he had it rented out. It was cash flowing in 28 days. I didn't pay anything for it. He just cleaned it up. We just put a little paint in it, and carpet it, and put a renter in there in 28 days. That's a hundred and roughly $50,000 asset, zero. There was no equity in the property. And she was distressed. Every month that she was making, remember she wasn't living here anymore. She was living in her other house. So how fun was it for her to pay a second mortgage for a home on the other side of town that's empty? That got old fast. <laughs> That got older real fast. And then it wouldn't sell. Why wouldn't it sell? Cosmetics. But she couldn't lower the price. Why? She couldn't lower it enough to entice somebody to come in and buy it. Well, number one, buyers don't want crappy homes. They don't want cosmetically challenged, number one. Number two, she didn't have enough equity in to lower it enough to get somebody to come in and buy it. She was in a jam. So I pulled her out of the problem. I took over the property, this 100 plus asset that cash flows. She goes on her way. She's happy as a lark. She just gave me her home and she's happy because now she is not stuck with a month, another monthly payment. So for her, it was a problem. For me, it was wealth. <laughs> and that's all I did. I just took the property. And I didn't know, by the way, I'll just tell you, before this happened, I didn't even know how that happened. <laughs> this was an accident. 
I didn't know that you could do owner financing. This is one of the homes that I found out you can just leave the mortgage in place and have your renters essentially pay the mortgage and you take the cash flow and own the property. This was the home where it all started. This is where I learned that you can do owner financing. Uh, one of the big, uh, leave, the, leave the mortgage in place. This was the home that it all started with. Now I will tell you how the owner financing thing happened is I was, I told you I was working for that chiropractor. One of my patients was a realtor, but he was an investor realtor. He wasn't just Joe Schmo. So he made his money investing first and he did some realtor on the side. So he was wise to real estate investing because that's really where he made his money, not from being a realtor. So I got to know him as I'm treating him and he goes, hey, so he, he basically sells me into buying a home. You got a home? No, 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 I can't afford it, right? First year in practice and all that, right? I got no money, I can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can. He teaches me owner financing. He goes, all you gotta do is just put a little bit down, we can get you home. He goes, how much you got? I said, I don't have much, a few thousand. He goes, we can get you home. I said, how you do that? He taught me owner financing. So he, showed, he told me to look at some homes. I looked at this one nice home, real nice home, 2,500 square foot, Now I was single, this is a four bedroom, two, four two, full basement. That home was 200, at that time, was $225,000. Um, I said, he told me to go look at it, if I like it or not. I said, yeah, I like it. He goes, I, you know, I, and again, remember, he's teaching me this. He goes, and then he shows me how I can buy this home without a, without a bank loan. I'm one year out of school working for somebody, just a few thousand dollars, right? Crap for credit, student debt income ratio, right? I don't think I can get a home. That home, I, the home I eventually, that home I put $10,000 down, owner financing. It was a 2,500 square foot home, 4-2, beautiful, and it was new. It was a model home for that neighborhood. It was a model home for that neighborhood. I did owner financing from the builder. The builder couldn't sell it for what he wanted. It was a model home and everybody else was building. That was one of the reasons it wasn't selling. And he didn't want to decrease the price to take a hit. So I gave him full price. I gave him X amount, 10, I think it was $10,000, $225,000 asset, $10,000 down, no financial statements, no bank loans, no credit. I, walk, I went from an apartment right into that home, owner financing. And when, he, when that happened, it changed my life. That's when I realized you don't need banks. And I say this all the time. That's when I became a kid in a candy store. It's like this whole nother door opened over here that I didn't even know existed. Because the only thing I knew was go through a mortgage, go through a realtor, blah, blah, blah. Right? That's the only thing I knew. Got to have good credit. You got to have down payment. Right? None of that's true. <laughs> he showed me this whole other door over here called owner financing. I'm like, holy shoes. I was off to the races. This particular realtor, we had a relationship. Remember, he's not a realtor realtor. He's an investor realtor. So when I go into my practice, now I start making money in my practice, right? Told you my first year I made over $200,000. So now I start making money and I know about this thing called owner financing. I was a kid in a candy store. And he loved me because I was a decision maker. I, didn't, I don't waffle. I know how to make a decision. So he would call me and go, I got this available, this available, whatever. And I would go over at lunch or after work I wouldn't fool around, and he knew I wouldn't fool around. That's why also why he liked me. So many people waffle. They take the realtor here, and then they take them here, and then they take them here. You know, it takes nine months for the average home to sell. Nine months is the selling cycle. Me, it's 24 hours. 24 hours. He loved it. He called me, 
Got the home here? Said, I'll be over and look at it. I'd go over at lunch or after work. I'd drive by and take a look at it. And I'd just look at the basics from what I knew at that time. And I didn't even know a lot at that time. Most of it I was learning from him. He was kind of my, my, you know, my mentor. And then I'd look at it and I'd go, I'd call him literally from the home. I'd go, yes or no? No, done, over, go to the next one. I'd go, yeah, set it up, let's look at it. And he'd set it up where we would look at it the next day at lunch or after work. Within one or two days, I was in that home property looking at it. And by the time I went in and walked out, I told him yes or no. That's how fast it went. So guess who got the calls? When he, see, when he saw things come through, guess who he called first? Me. And then I would come in. Now I was making cash flow, right? So I could put a little more money down. I could pay full price. I could take care of the cosmetics. They're saving 12% without all the realtor stuff. I'll pay the 12%. I could pay them full price. Just let me pay cash down. So I'd put ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 down, pick up a two or $300,000 property like that. Flip it over to my property manager. They turn around and rent it out and we go do it again. We'll go into the details of all this. We'll go into the details. But that is exactly what happened and that's when we just started rolling. And that's what I told you. When things got tough in chiropractic, I didn't care. I would get in my car and I'd drive around. There's something about driving around your pieces of real estate, whether it's a residential home or apartment complex. There's just something about it, seeing that solid structure there that's making you money 24-7. Something about it. 